Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you enjoy the episode. Alright, so on today's episode, we pretty much got the Nova all diagnosed and we know what's wrong with it, so let's get it all fixed. Quite a ways yeah, away. Yeah, we're now. clear now. That, that was. The if you point. want to give it an extra oomph, you could pry in there if you want to. I think we're okay right now. Okay. So, all right, let's see if it shifts. All right. All right, Ed's gonna jump in and see if this thing shifts now. So we're in low, and I just went in the park. Yeah. Now there was a bit, just a bit of a bind. Right there. Yeah. Right in there. What I'm doing that's reverse part. So maybe we can lube it. Yeah, I think the, that needs to get lubed. I agree. But at least it's all working now. Yeah. All right. So there we go. Sweet. Who would have thought? Yeah. I'm going to spray some lube down in here. If I can get it so you guys can see it. All right, this one's a little bit on the, the harder side because it's just so buried down in there. It's hard to get the camera down in there. All right, so we sprayed some lube. We're going to work it a little bit and see if that frees it up. We might have to do the same up on the other end of the steering column. All right, let's see how it works now. Oh, there we go. Runs all through them now. Well, there we go, that should do it. Now we ran this for a little bit when we were trying it, but if you see the choke is closed now, that seems to have fixed uh, that issue with it. So hopefully that's all set as well. So this was just a tiny bit sticky, so I cleaned some, sprayed some brake clean in it and then put a little PV blaster in it to kind of lube it and it seems to be working really well right now. So I think uh, that's in good shape now too. So we'll move on to some other stuff. Okay, so the uh, left-hand side socket is not good for the brake light on this car. Uh, so it'll be this one. So we're going to go ahead and replace it with a new one. <clears throat> All 
Guys, you can see the bulb even came out of it with, with part of the socket. Nice household connectors. Got a new socket here. This is a Dorman brand. All right, it's in, so let me uh, go out, let's go outside and see if it works. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the headlight on. I think I'm not quite getting a good enough ground on it. I think I may have to tweak the ground just a little bit to get a little more so it goes out and reaches the edge. Let me grab a tool. Yeah, I'm just going to pull this out a little bit. There we go. Let's see if that did it. Alright. We're still not getting quite a good enough ground on the light. I might have to clean the light, the fixture up a little bit. All right, there it is. I just uh, just cleaned it up a little bit. Now let me check the brake light. You guys are gonna have to tell me if that came on.
Is it blinking? It's not blinking real well. There we go. Alright. All right, I'm gonna have to check the video and see if the brake light came on. All right, so I went back and checked the video and no brake light. So let me let me try this again. All right, did it come on or are you guys gonna make me watch the video? Oh, you're going to make me watch it, huh? Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put a little tape on here. Clean that up a little bit, and then we'll be done. All right, there we go. All right, I got the new spark plugs, and uh, I gapped them all out to uh, 35 thousandths, which is what it said, so let's uh, go ahead and stick these bad dogs in. Y'all just want to make sure if it's supposed to have these crush washers that they still have them. So they're important. That's what seals the spark plug to the head. And when you tighten these, you'll feel those crush. And you definitely don't want to over tighten them. These don't need to be really cranked down hard. Just nice and snug. I'm going to get an extension. You can kind of feel those crush down and then it gets a little easier again for a second. All right, I don't have the distributor cap yet, um, but we got a new set of points. And then that's a condenser. And then that's the rotor. So the thing on, on these points nowadays, what always seems to be garbage is this part right here. This is the little wear point, and it seems like these wear off in no time at all nowadays. They're just not made that well anymore. All right, there's the old points out. Got the screw, don't want to lose that. You can see this right here is basically totally worn off of that thing. These things were barely functioning and they look kind of burnt in there. So it's definitely time for some new points. Um, so I'm going to get a little grease in there and uh, put a little bit of electric grease in there to help lube that. So I just randomly set the points to get an idea on the gap. And I took the feeler gauge, this one's 19 thousandths, and I stuck it in there and I think I'm right on the money. Yeah, I think I am. I'm just going to tighten it down. Sorry. 
All right, we're going to check the dwell on this right away. You got one hook to the distributor side of the coil and one hook to the ground. So Ed's going to go ahead and crank her over. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, hold on. I'm getting no reading. Get the... the, the you know, make sure you're on six cylinder. Yeah, I was looking at that. This doesn't have it, does it? Oh, well, maybe I'm wrong. Mine does. Yeah, it just says for four-cylinder engine, double eight-cylinder scale. Huh. It didn't move, though. And you're on the distributor side of the coil. Yeah. That's this one, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you got a good ground. And I'm on dwell. I got ground on the battery. Yeah, any better than that. Well, let's try it one more time. I, unless, I, I can't imagine, even though it's a six, it should change. It looks right though, <clears throat> but you know, it's good, everything. Right. Go, okay, okay, go ahead. Oh, there it goes. All right, keep going. It was just. Keep going. It was still going up. It's reacting really slow. Keep going, keep going. All right. Where'd you get? You know what I'm thinking? You'd go one and a half times if it's double for eight. Would you go one and a half for? That's what I'm thinking. In which case, we're right on the money. Oh, okay. That's what I'm guessing. So. Oh, my third grade education. Yeah, we were just <laughs> looking at the setting on it. Oh yeah, here it is, right here. I, I see the six cylinder now. So we're uh, we're right on the money with this, so we're in, we're in good shape, one, huh? Yeah, it's the bottom line here. It's so dark you can't see. Yeah. It's a six cylinder. Well, it's not dark. It's just thirty years ago we could have seen that. I know. We're just old. So anyway, we're good. So now we just need a distributor cap. So we just picked up an old fire department suburban. It's a three quarter ton. It's got a four fifty four in it. And what'd you say that was? A fire safe? It's the back window. Or oh. the back bumper. Alright. Explosive. Explosive safe or something like that. So that's what that is. So if there's like gas leaks or things like that, they don't uh, end up going boom. Anyways, we'll get it down and we'll uh, take a walk around it in a little bit. Alright, it's the next day. We got the uh, distributor cap, so we're going to go ahead and put that on. All right, so I'm just gonna transfer the wires one at a time, um, and then uh, everything should be good. dog starts. Gotta make sure everything's good. I didn't leave anything in here. Jumps closed. Alright, let's see what happens. Oh, 
Looks like a champ now. We may just have to take this for a ride and see if it needs to have the car rebuilt. It might have just been a tune-up. So we're going to take Novocaine for a little ride and uh, see how the carb's functioning. Um, our buddy Al, who owns this car, thought the carb needed to be rebuilt. But in reality, what I think it probably is was that the choke uh, wasn't working. And if you recall, that was the first thing I fixed on it. It seems to be running a lot better right now. So between the choke and a tune-up, that may be all it really needed. It's running pretty good. Ah, that was good. not stumbling or you know anything like that it's uh so I, I think it's pretty good i think that choke was the the big issue and then of course it needed a tune up something fierce so i think that uh, that did it so we got a few other things to fix on here so we'll uh we'll work on these as well We're back it up and running. came out of this car so I'm gonna try to put this thing back in and get it installed for him.
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Be sure to come back next time. All right, guys. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Be sure to come back next time. I look forward to it. All right, guys.